Welcome. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a video with this car. I'm not even going to bait you with the title um, or make you drag on. I got some new coilovers. Thank you for ISC for jumping on board and helping me with this build. Um, let me get them out of the car, unwrap the car. Um, let's do it. Just like that, car is unwrapped. And in this box, I have the ISC suspension coilovers. I went for a 12K front and rear with the triple S spring rates, so it has the race valving and everything like that. These are gonna be dedicated track coilovers. Um, I'm not sure how the ride's gonna be. I mean, I don't daily drive the car anymore. I do drive it to and from the track. It is wise for me to get a truck and a trailer. At this time, I'm not able to afford it, but we're gonna be installing these. Um, my buddies, Jeff, Ed, and Declan will be coming over. Jeff and Ed have done countless coilover installs on their Subaru, so they are master techs at it. And sh should be a breeze. Before they get here, I am going to, I will be getting the car up, wheels off. I'll see you guys Saturday morning. It is now Saturday, 10 o'clock on the dot. Jeff is always here pronto. He was actually here very early. We're still waiting on Ed and Declan, but you guys should remember Jeff, he has the white Subaru hatch as well named Betty, right? Yeah. Betty, you yeah. forgot the name. He was contemplating selling it, but now he's keeping it and blah, blah, blah. But we did the Tomei install at his house. He has the nameless track pipe video that I did. So hopefully we'll get out there again, do some more track days. But for now, we're gonna get started on doing the coilovers. <laughs> Yeah, because he's a stick. Yeah. And so he was with. Got the golf carts. Here's one. <laughs> Did you just throw this in the trash? I wouldn't mind getting one though. Especially since like leaves a little bit older. I want to expose them to like back a little as much as you. possible. <laughs> Fuel lines are in the way. Is it ready to come out? Mm -hmm. The bottom up. I, I, I get scared to ask if I can go out. <laughs> yeah, any more? Um, more mean, standing? Yeah, yeah you big boy. Well, so, I'm, I'm not even living in a, a way of the radar. Okay. You're good. We're probably relatively... Oh, they probably don't. Ed almost has his in. Declan and I have been doing the rear. And those are almost in. Jesus, what the, uh... were they thinking? Thank you. <sighs> nope. After? Side by side? No. That's fine. <laughs> Give me a little, like, right hippie hop if you can. <laughs> little update after about an hour hour and a half we have all four corners done super easy install so far took a lot less time than i thought it would so install is complete for the day i do not have the right size hex key bolt whatever you want to call it to get their old hardware tightened um it's like a 10 mil, but I don't have anything that big, so I can't tighten them down. I was going to tighten everything down with Declan and torque everything, put the wheels on, drop the car and go for a test drive. But Jeff left with the tool I need. So I bought it on Amazon. It should be here Monday. So I'll post this video. You guys are seeing it Monday. Just know either Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I'll have like a first reaction drive to it even though it's not aligned um hopefully we got the ride height somewhere where we used to have it um we measured and kind of drew on lines but yeah super happy with how it turned out so triple s springs 32 weight adjustable dampening right now i have it on three clicks from soft and we'll just play around from there still don't know where i'll fully get um get it 
aligned and corner balanced. I'm thinking maybe Elite Performance. The place I used to go to is now gone, but yeah, I mean, overall looks great. And I think that's about it. So thank you ISC for shipping this out to me. And once I get the right hardware to do the lower control arms, tighten that down, we'll drop the car and go for our first test drive around the block and then get it aligned and then really um, give it a run. So probably not in the canyons. The canyons are really hot right now. So we'll, we'll just have some fun somewhere to test fine tune the suspension. But I think for the main part, the real place that I'll be fine tuning the suspension is at Thunder Hill, August 14th, where I'll be able to do a two hour open pit session. Um, I doubt I'll last all two hours, just do the car. The Subaru is technically good for like four or five laps, depending on the temperature, and then it needs to cool down. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.